if I, if I ask you uh, uh, one last question before kind of uh, finding a way to, for people to find out more information about the book is like in five years, right? Somebody read your book and they went through your workshop. Uh, they brought you in to speak. Uh, they did all these things. Five years from that moment, what's different about that person? Wow, very insightful question. What's different about that person is that they're not taking things so personally when someone is rude to them, because unfortunately there are people who are rude, learning that instead of getting defensive, here's here, let me sum it up in a nutshell. Let's say you're at the grocery store and you can't find something you, you know is there. Like I, I went to find a gift card and I was getting really angry because I was tight on time and I could hear the tapes playing in my head. Oh my gosh, these people are so stupid. How could they be so disorganized? They told me they had this such and such gift card. Now I'm going to have to walk all the way to the front. I'm going to be late, blah, blah, blah. As I was walking, this is a true story. As I was walking to the front of the store, I caught myself in the act of overreacting. And I said to myself, does this situation warrant this degree of anger? I don't think so. No one's in the hospital. No one's broken their legs. No one is in a serious situation at home. Everything is okay in my life. Now, I challenge you, I've had this conversation with myself. I challenge you to go to the front of the store and smile and say to the <laughs> clerk that's helping you, how is your day going? And not make it all about me. Spread the love and spread the cheer. So that is how my life has changed, that I've learned how to stop in the middle of an overreaction. It's normal human behavior to react when we're stressed out. But now what I've done is I've added a layer of control over our behavior. You know, we can't control everything around us. The only thing we can control is ourselves. So I've learned to take control of myself and my behavior, which by the way, in my twenties was extreme. And I've learned to stop, observe my behavior and then move on and change my outlook right then and there and tell myself, you have the ability to be happy. You have the ability to smile and you have the ability to be nice to the other people around you.